Hey, what's up guys? This is a video for everyone that holds ticker HR.UN or was holding them in the last week or two because something has changed with this company. It's a popular REIT in Canada and uh, basically they they would have decreased the value of some of your shares and given you a new company um, based on however many shares you had. And so actually, uh, when we look in here, we can see that in my portfolio tab that they're saying that down 17.5%. And that's because I haven't adjusted the spreadsheet yet to reflect that I actually, they've changed their price. They've changed my, they've recalculated my average price and they've given me new shares. So looking in Wealth Simple Trade, actually, even if we go back to the summary tab, we're going to see right now that the, um, the balances are off at the moment, 67,200 and 68,238. And this is because of what's going on with HR.UN and PMZ, the new company that I was given. So what you want to do is let's just look up on the portfolio and see what our average price is that we've paid for HR.UN. And then in Wealth Simple Trade, let's find it as well. It's going to be down here somewhere and take a look. So they are calculating in Wealth Simple Trade an average price for me personally of 1259 but in my spreadsheet, my old average price is 16.17, and that's because they have changed the structure of the price uh, in the similar way to a stock split. Like I was buying in around here, and my average price was like $16, but you're going to notice here that according to their chart, they've never made it up to $16, but this is in where I was buying them. So I think the easiest way to update this is not to really mess around with the splits tab, but to actually just go into the transactions tab. We're going to control F or command F H R dot U N. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to come in and I'm just going to remove the number and price that I paid for each set each time we have H R dot U N. So I'm just going to delete those and then carry on. So if you stop right now, then it's going to give us a quantity and average price of zeros all throughout the board, which is not what we want. But what we want is we're just going to go back into Wealth Simple Trade. And we're just going to replace one of these entries. I'm going to pick the last one to put in the total quantity here, which we have 309, which is how much I had before. And for a price here, I could put in 1259, but I know that this value is rounded and there's going to be a rounding error if I include that. So what I will do is I want to fill this in as a formula. I'm going to write equals. We're going to take the total value, which is 4,122.06. I'm going to subtract the total return. If you have a total loss, then you'll add the total loss. So in my case, I'm going to subtract 231.84. And then I'm going to divide that by the number of shares, 309. You have to do this calculation outside of market hours, or outside of trading hours, because this is going to be changing all the time. Um, but now we actually see if we give this some more decimal places, uh, there we go. So we can see that it's actually like the unrounded number. We can get a lot of decimal places if we want. Um, but uh, this is actually going to be the correct number for the average price that we want uh, exactly. And this won't cause us any rounding errors. So now when we check in the portfolio tab, our numbers are matching. So we have 1259 for average price, the current price 1334, and we are good to go on this position. Now, the other thing that happened if you were holding, they're like if you're holding HR.UN, is you've got these other shares. If we take a look here in uh, our broker, we see here PMZ.UN. I never bought these, but they were just given to me because of this deal with HR.UN. And so we're going to have to add in these as well. Now, when I look here, they gave me 77 shares and a total value and an average price and all that. So we're going to go into the transactions tab. We're going to scroll down to the very bottom. And we're going to throw in a line here for TSEPMZ.UN. All right. doesn't really matter what day we put. Um, I can just put today's date, which is January 14th, 2022. Um, we have 77 shares in here. And for the average price, we're going to use a formula again, because this 14.30 is going to have a rounding error in it if we just put it exactly. And so the way the way that we do this is we'll take the total value, 1034.11. Because we have a net loss here, we're gonna add the loss. So we have 67.32. And we're gonna divide that by 77. And we're gonna make sure we have all the correct brackets in there, which is missing one right there. And this gives us 14.30, but again, this preserves all of the decimal places that are actually in there and not just cutting it off after we round to the nearest cent. So yeah, we're going to say that we paid Canadian dollars for these, like that. 
And then let's go into the portfolio tab. And the, I like to put these in chronological order of when I bought them. So I'm going to put in position number 33. It's going to be real estate. And this is going to be TSEPMZ.UN. And this matches exactly what we have 77 shares, average price of 1430. We're down 6.11%. All that stuff, you know, to the cent is adding up correctly. If you want to include this inside the filter, click anywhere inside the main area, turn the filter off, click anywhere inside here, turn the filter back on, and now you see that dark green line has dropped down here. And now we can sort by like, I don't know, percent by holding or something. And we're going to see that uh, PMZ is just going to get pulled up to this point. So it's not necessarily going to always be at the bottom, depending on how we sort things. Okay, so let's check the summary page now and uh, also in Wealthsimple to see if our totals are adding up exactly the same. And here in the spreadsheet we have 6823821 and in Wealthsimple we have 6823828. So I'm not sure why I'm actually off by 7 cents. Usually this is exactly the same. Um, so I'm going to take a little while. I think I'll check that out after the video. 7 cents is not a huge concern, but to be honest, it's always exactly correct to the cent outside of trading hours for me so i'm going to have to double check what's going on with that but i think for now it's close enough but i'll double check those formulas and stuff like that um the other thing to mention here is that also um hr.un paid a double dividend on january 12th so they paid the regular dividend but then they paid again so we'll go into your wealth simple or your broker or whatever and double check for two dividends coming from this company on that day and watch out for that because that should get included here as well into the spreadsheet but yeah, I think there's only one more thing to touch on, and that's actually in the portfolio tab here. Um, when we look here at pmz.un and uh, the dividends that they're pulling in, the regular formula is actually not going to pull in anything at all. It's going to give us a zero. And that's because the source of the data uses um, what's called trailing 12-month dividend. There's even a little note up here. Um, but this ticker hasn't existed for more than 12 months, so there's actually no data available on Walmart where I'm grabbing it. So what we need to do is probably go to Yahoo Finance. And just come grab whatever number they have in here, which is 0.07 forward annual dividend. That's uh, the yield of 0.52%. So I don't even know if this is correct. This is so new. Like when you look at their chart, um, it's just brand new. Like there's not really much to see here. So anyways, let's just grab this number for now. Uh, we're going to take 0 0.07. And we're going to drop it in here, 0 0.07. And that's going to be the dividend yield that we're going to work with for this stock. Now, this might actually turn out to be like a little bit... Um, Incorrect. So what I would recommend doing is dye the cell yellow or change the text color to like blue or something just to indicate that this is no longer one of the standard formulas that we see here um, and to remind us that this is a custom value that we've put in and uh, we're going to have to manually update this for a little while until um, uh, until there's enough data on Walmine for this to actually bring in automatically. And what I mean by that is this this is the listing on Walmart and uh, basically most of the, the companies are pulling in this value here for dividend um, but like you see here this company is just too new so it just has no information here that's useful for us to use so we're gonna that's gonna take about a year but until that happens I think it's fine just to write this in manually um, later on when you're ready to check you can just drag the formula like uh, past it and that'll reset all the formulas and that would automatically take this uh, to draw from the source but uh, for now just put this in and I was really thinking about these seven cents that were missing, and I actually went through, I paused the video for a second uh, in between recording, and went really digging through like all of the individual positions. I cross-checked every single one, uh, my current value in with these, what I have here in Wealthsimple, and they're all exactly the same. And I went back through many of the recent dividends, and I can't find where the seven cents is missing from, so I think it's just something weird that happened really recently. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in um, uh, like a dummy dividend here of uh, January 12th, 2022. And I'm just going to put in those seven cents in Canadian dollars. And I'm not even going to put anything here. I'm just going to leave it like that, seven cents. And this is going to bring back uh, my available cash to exactly match 104.65 and my total account balance 68.23828 um, to exactly balance match what I have in Wealthsimple. So anyways, guys, I hope that helps. Um, if you are holding hr.un and now by default pmz.un, now you know what to do if you're using the spreadsheet. And uh, yeah, uh, it's a bit messy, but it works. So guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next portfolio update.